Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball Card Breaks. Today we have another edition of Quick Hits where we try to find the best card we can in under five minutes. And uh, we are on our third envelope from Showtime Cards here in Tucson. Uh, these are uh, hot packs where you get uh, one autograph or memorabilia card, one serial number card, and then eight other cards of... Um, you know, stars or Hall of Famers, what, however you want to put that. Uh, so far, you know, I paid twenty dollars on envelope. This is my third envelope, and although I am not a, um, I am not uh, someone who knows the value of basketball cards so much. Uh, Beckett is, and so I went on Beckett, and I looked up the cards that I've got so far from the first two envelopes, and I would say I've basically got about $18 out of the $40 that I've spent uh, if I were going to try to turn around and sell them. It wouldn't even be that much because usually with, usually with um, Beckett, it's like 60 to 80% of whatever the Be Beckett value is, um, is the value of whatever, um, you know, cards you would want to buy. So, um, you know, maybe we'll hit it big in this one. You know, that's the thing about these. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. You know, it's 60 bucks. Um, I mean, if I was Joe Exotic, you know, like I might never financially recover from this. I think he's what he said one time. Uh, speaking of Joe Exotic, I'm drinking uh, some not fancy wine. Joe Exotic would never drink fancy wine. This is wine right from the box. So it's like a red blend. I don't even think uh, they probably didn't even use grapes. I don't even know. It's not important. But, um, you know, unlike Joe Exotic, 60 bucks is not a whole lot for me one way or another. I'm just disappointed um, in the sense that um, if I were, have, you know, I have my own shop in El Paso. And if I were doing something like this, I would at the very least include a memorabilia card or an autograph card of, of value, of equal value of the 1999, you know, and then throw in whatever else you have, the commons that are in your you know, in your collection, I guess. Um, so uh, we're going to hope that uh, we can get redeemed here. And, uh, you know, one way or another, it, it is fun to do this. I, I enjoy these. And uh, we'll see if we can maybe do a little bit better today. Here's Quinn Cook uh, from the Warriors. And this is uh, from last year's Hoops. And we're following that up with John Henson from... I guess that's two years ago, Hoops. And then we have an, uh, this is a pretty old card. I don't think they make, uh, I haven't seen this these uh, X cards in a while. Is this upper deck? Well, who made these? It's hard to tell on this, but we're going to flip it. Oh, it's a, what do you call it? A acetate, opaque, whatever, something like that. Um, yeah, this is Skybox. So is this in late 90s? 96, 90. so this is 97, 98. I opened some uh, Skybox baseball in my time travel Tuesday, and uh, those are not great. Here's Clint Capella. Uh, I remember him from my time in Houston. I, I like Clint Capella, a pretty solid player, kind of a rebounding guy, pretty much not much else after that. Okay, and then we have uh, Montrezl, Montrezl, Harrell. Uh, I, I've heard of him, but I don't know how to pronounce his first name. And we have from the Hawks, Herbert, Hubbard. Yeah, um, Kevin, somebody. Um, all right. And then a we have DeMar DeRozan. I got this one in the last one, I believe. Or at least we got, I think I got the exact same card in the other one. Uh, so here's a nice one. This is a Serge Abaca from the Select Collection. What year is that? Can we get that focus? Probably easier to just flip it over to the back. Uh, that is 1314 Panini Select. Um, so that's a decent card. We're going to put that here in the back. Uh, all right. So we're down to the final two cards. And uh, we're looking at the Rockets, Tracy McGrady, T-Mac. This is an old Bowman card. 
This is most likely the one that's going to be numbered. So we're going to just slip that in there. Um, it feels like this is a relic card that I have behind here. But we're going to flip this over and take a look. Yep, T-Mac to $4.99. And, uh, well, I guess we'll put that up front. What the hell? And the slow reveal. Um, looks like maybe this is a horizontal one. Premier Penance. There's a, it might be a double patch. We have a Jazz and a Trailblazer of Carlos Boozer and Channing Fry. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm all choked up. Um, it is one out of ten, and it's a quad relic. That is pretty nice. Um, I guess that will end the three envelope. Um, I mean, this is maybe a $10 card, right? Maybe a $12 card. So that's not so shabby. Um, overall, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, I suppose, except for maybe the first two envelopes. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to come back. Uh, probably next week, we're going to break open some uh, baseball cards. And uh, until then, everyone, have a great day. Have some more uh, Joe Exotic wine.